ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு விவித் கெமி யூடியூப் சேனல் திஸ் ஈஸ் வித்யாஸ்ரீ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ பி லிஸ்டிங் ஆல் தி ஃபார்முலைஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு சர்ஃபேஸ் ஏரியா அண்ட் வால்யூம் ஐ பி லிஸ்டிங் ஆல் தி ஃபார்முலாஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு கியூப் கியூபாய்ட் சிலிண்டர் கோன் ஸ்பியர் ஹெமிஸ்பியர் ஆஸ் வெல் ஆஸ் ஃப்ரஸ்ட்ரம் ஆஃப் கோன் லிஸ்டிங் ஆல் தி ஃபார்முலைஸ் டுகெதர் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் அஸ் டு compare the different formulas and relate between the formulas and that makes us easier to apply all these formulas when we solve any numericals related to surface area and volume here we have a cube each side of cube say we'll consider this as a so each side has same measurement this is a this is also a and this is also a the surface area of cube so i'll write s a for surface area surface area of cube is given by 6 a square where a is side of the cube and the lateral surface area of the cube l s a stands for lateral surface area of the cube is given by 4 a square next coming to volume volume of cube is given by a cube about the units surface area has unit of square meter so the unit is square meter i can write it this as meter square same for the lateral surface area it has unit square meter for volume the unit is cubic meter or meter cube i can write so these are the units this also you need to remember surface area has square meter unit and volume is represented by cubic meter so these are the three formulas related to surface area and volume of cube so cube has equal side where a in each formula it is representing side a is side of the cube surface area is given by 6a square lateral surface area is given by 4a square volume is given by a cube and the next solid we'll consider is cuboid a cuboid has length breadth and height where length i'll represent it as l breadth i'll represent as b and height is represented as h where l represents length b represents breadth and h represents height of the cuboid so the surface area is given by 2 into lb plus bh plus hl and the lateral surface area for cuboid is given by 2 into l plus b into h the same formula you can write as 2 into l h plus b h coming to volume volume of cuboid is given by l into b into h this is how the cylinder can be represented here h represents height of the cylinder and r represents the radius of the circular base so h represents height of the cylinder r represents the radius the circular part curved surface area which is represented as csa of cylinder it is the product of perimeter of the base and height perimeter of the base multiplied by height gives the curved surface area perimeter of the base where base is circle so perimeter of the base nothing but the circumference so it is 2 pi r into the height so the formula to calculate curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi rh 
then to calculate the total surface area of the cylinder TSA is the sum of curved surface area as well as area of the circular region. So it is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square which can be written as 2 pi r into r plus h. Volume of the cylinder can be calculated by using the formula pi r square h where pi is 22 by 7 approximately this value is considered as 3.14 r represents radius of the base of right circular cone and this h represents height of the cone and this side it is represented as L that is nothing but slant height of the cone. R is radius of the circular base. H is height of the cone. And L is the slant height. So slant height of the cone can be calculated by using Pythagoras theorem. So L square is nothing but it's h square plus r square. So because the angle made here is 90 degree. So therefore we can use the Pythagoras theorem. L square is equal to h square plus r square. L is square root of h square plus r square. Curved surface area of cone is given by pi into r into l. So curved surface area is equal to pi r l where pi is 22 by 7 which is approximately 3.14 r is radius of the circular base of the cone l is the slant height and the total surface area is equal to the curved surface area plus area of the base it is pi r l plus pi r square so this can be written as pi r into l plus r then coming to volume of the cone volume of cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. Next is sphere. So sphere is the three dimensional representation of the circle where circle is a two dimensional thing and sphere is the solid form of circle it is a three dimension. So surface area of sphere is given by 4 pi r square. So surface area is given by 4 pi r square where r is the radius of the sphere r is radius of the sphere then the formulas of hemisphere hemisphere is nothing but half of a sphere so sphere is represented can be represented like this the whole three dimensional representation. Hemisphere is half of it. So can be represented like this. Hemisphere has curved surface area as well as total surface area. So the curved surface area of hemisphere is given by 2 pi r square and the total surface area of hemisphere is given by 3 pi r square. So carefully note this, do not get confused with that of sphere as well as hemisphere. Sphere has only surface area, it is given by 4 pi r square. Whereas hemisphere, it has curved surface area as well as total surface area. Total surface area is given by 3 pi r square, curved surface area is given by 2 pi r square. Then coming to volume of sphere, volume is given by 4 by 3 pi r cube volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube volume of hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube next solid is frustum of cone so here i have a cone now if i cut this cone to get one more right circular cone from this particular part whatever the solid i get is nothing but it is the frustum of 
this solid obtain is known as frustum of coal. For a frustum, we have two radius, one for the upper circular region, let me denote this as R1 and second one for the lower region, it is R2. Then we have height which is denoted by H and we have slant height denoted by L. R1 and R2 are the radius, H is height, L is slant height. Curved surface area of the frustum of cone is given by pi into R1 plus R2 into L. Here slant height can be calculated using the formula L is equal to square root of H square plus R1 minus R2 the whole square. TSA can be calculated by the formula pi into L into R1 plus R2 plus pi R1 square plus pi R2 square. Volume is given by 1 by 3 pi into h into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 into r2. So from the formulas related to frustum of cone, direct questions can be asked in your examination. So it's important that you need to remember all the formulas. I have covered all the formulas related to the surface area and volumes of the solids under class 8, 9 as well as 10. Thank you for watching. Like and share the video if the contents provided are useful to you. Subscribe to my channel for more updates.